Now we're getting to predicting products of the next type of reaction. And we can guess that it's going to have to be a single replacement or single displacement. I, you'll hear displacement, replacement interchangeably. Some people call it uh, replacement. Some people call it displacement. It's uh, the same thing. To replace is to displace. Or if something is displacing something, you're replacing something. But anyway, so um, we can see here that this metal is going to displace this metal. Okay, the metal will always displace another metal. Or the positive will always displace into other positive. It's always going to be that way. So you, there's no real guesswork. Say, well, which one is displaced? Well, the positive calcium can only bond with the negative chlorine. The positive calcium cannot bond with the positive co uh, copper. So let's look at uh, this. Uh, as always, we need to find charges. Charge of calcium is 2 plus. Let's ignore this Cl2 here. Charge of chlorine is 1 minus. Charge of copper then, now because there's two of them, that has to be charge of 2 plus. Now let's put them together. The copper is going to be replaced by the calcium. So this is going to be calcium. Let's put the calcium and the chlorine together, CaCl2, so it's just the same. Now we go ahead and balance. So this two chlorines and what's already balanced makes it easy. OK, let's uh, try the next one. Barium, that's positive. Barium has a charge of plus 2. Uh, francium has a charge of plus 1. Chlorine has a charge of minus 1. And uh, when we put them together, we have francium by itself plus barium and um, barium chloride. So let's balance. Let's put a 2 here and then a 2 here. We're all good. These have been really easy to balance so far. Uh, now look at this next one. Manganese is going to replace the magnesium. Okay, metal for metal. So manganese. Now here's a, a issue. Manganese is a transition, so that can have different charges. We're just going to have to assume that it has the same charge of magnesium. Or we can assume that it has the same charge of carbonate, or opposite charge, which is the same as magnesium. So we'll just have magnesium. In this case, we can, we'll can we have to just write magnesium plus manganese carbonate. And it's uh, all balanced there. Uh, how about aluminum and barium nitrate? Aluminum has a charge of 3 plus. It's going to have to replace the other charge, positive charge, of barium 2 plus. Remember, nitrite has a charge of minus 1 minus. So we switch them. Barium will be by itself. It can be by itself. It's a metal. Then we have aluminum is 3 plus. Nitrate, now if you guys have done this before, and then there's going to be 3 nitrates. All right, so now let's go ahead and balance this and get rid of these upper numbers. And we're fortunate to have all these low metals. It makes life easier. Let's just balance these nitrates. We're going to have to balance, um, use the lowest common multiple or denominator, I guess it's multiple. So we'll put a 2 here and a 3 here, or really just switch the numbers. So that makes it two nitrates, excuse me, six nitrates on this side, six nitrates on that side. And uh, two Al here, two Al here, three Ba, three Ba. And there we go. We have that balanced. And those are single replacements. So when we're doing single replacements, we need to get those charges first and then substitute a positive with the other positive. Now we're getting more difficult. Uh, we can probably guess here that this is going to be a double replacement or double displacement reaction. 
So that means the positive replaces the other positive, the negative replaces the other negative. They just swap partners. So let's, um, we have the barium swapping with the, uh, the sodium, the chlorine swapping with the carbonate. Again, we need to recognize those polyatomics. And let's write the charges, carbonate. Um, chlorine is minus, barium is 2 plus. So the um, barium is going to switch with the nitrogen, uh, sodium. And we're just going to, it's going to be barium carbonate. Barium, those are 2 to 2. It's 2 and 2 minus. So those just cancel each other out. Then we're going to do NaCl and those cancel each other out because it was a plus and a minus. And there we have that, but we need to balance. Let me just erase all this other gobbledygook up here. Two chlorines, we'll put a two chlorine there. That makes it two sodium. Um, and then we're all good. That was easy. Okay, the next one we have aluminum is going to replace the other positive, the hydrogen. And then we have the sulfate and the phosphate. So let's look at the charges to see how they do combine. The aluminum by itself is a 3 plus. We don't worry until we balance about the subscripts. We don't care about that yet. And the sulfate's 2 minus. Hydrogen is plus. Phosphate is 3 plus. Okay, so this actually works out nicely. Uh, the aluminum and the phosphates just come together very easily. And then the hydrogens and the sulfates, we're going to have H2SO4. Now I'm going to get rid of this stuff so I can now balance. Okay, let's go for this um, polyatomic here. Let's balance that with a 3 up here. That takes care of the sulfate. It makes it 6 hydrogens. We'll, so we'll put a 2 here. And there's two, uh, So the hydrogens, this and the sulfates are... Now this though makes it um, 2 phosphates. So we'll put a 2 here. That's 2 phosphates. 2 aluminums and then 2 aluminums. That's balanced. Okay, let's look at the next one. The hydrogen is going to replace, displace the sodium, and they're just going to swap partners. Let's look at the charges. That's going to be a plus. This is going to be a plus. Nitrate is minus, and chlorine is minus. This should be an easy swap. Uh, we don't even have to balance it. So we're going to have HCl, hydrochloric acid, plus sodium nitrate. And uh, let's see if it's all balanced. And that's all balanced. That was actually pretty easy. About the next one, we have we need to recognize that this is also a polyatomic ammonium, and uh, that's going to replace the barium. They're going to switch. Okay, so the ammonium has a charge of plus. Barium has a charge of two plus. Chlorine has a charge of minus. Hydroxide by itself has a charge of minus. So let's um, put these together. The ammonium hydroxide, that goes together, plus the barium chloride. And get rid of this. Now we can just go ahead and balance. Let's balance the um, polyatomic here by putting a 2. 2 NH4OH, that means we're going to need a 2 ammonium right here. We're balancing again, remember, just balanced by the whole group of polyatomics. And let's see, barium, barium, chlorine, chlorine, that looks, everything's balanced there. So when doing these double ones, remember the positives replace the other positives. We're just switching, like switching males with males and females with females and negatives. We switch with negatives, positives, we switch with the positives.